Welcome Taurus. Okay, so we'll be looking at the next two weeks and what it is we can help you with during this time using the Mystical Journey Oracle Cards, the Light Seer's Tarot, and we will be using Druid Wisdom. Very interesting because I started your video and we were using Divine Directions, right, um, for Aries, and I felt like I wanted to pull those first. So I did and something was off, man. Something was really off. And I just felt called to use, use the Druid Wisdom instead. So we're going to start with these, Taurus. And when I was um, infusing your energy with them and prepping for this reading, man, there's this real sense of urgency, honestly. Um, I also feel like with these cards, there is writing here, which I will read to you, but there's also pictures on the back of them. So if I get anything from the pictures, I will add that in too. Okay, so tell me, Taurus, give me three cards for Taurus, please. Bridge between two worlds. Okay, so there's you crossing. I feel like you're on the bridge to another world. You're about to step onto the bridge to another world. It didn't jump out. Let's have a look at this though. Hmm, I love this. Yeah, you're on the bridge. You're on the bridge. Check it out. You're on the bridge. Okay. The signs of the universe become apparent once you recognize the universe inside yourself. We are the bridge between life and beyond so there's advice for a crystal here carry or wear a celtic tree of life charm for protection luck legacy wisdom and peace oh yeah so not a, a crystal i think there's crystals in here but yeah so carry or wear a celtic tree a celtic tree of life charm for protection luck legacy wisdom and peace you know i just kind of had this view of you could even print it out and just you know kind of put it in your pocket with that intention okay oh i like that okay two more cards for taurus is this two yes it is well of memories Well of memories, I feel like there's something coming up to the surface for you that may have been buried for a really long time in the mud. Okay, remember the wise witches whose lives were cruelly ceased. Their spells linger in Edinburgh as the morning dawns peace. Interesting. Carry... Oh, Lord. Chriso praise. Chriso praise for forgiveness and release. Chriso praise. C H R Y S O P R A S E. Interesting. So I wonder if there's something that you has been quite, um, quite, um, heavy real heavy I'm feeling something that's happened in the past that was yeah very abusive um and um I feel as though that this is something that is coming up to be released for you okay so that crystal may very well help you and maybe this is what this bridge in between two worlds is about the last card that jumped out here is stonehenge Oh, I really like this too because there's these, you know, these stones and these are like the bridges from one to the other, right? Um, so yeah, representing that bridge between two worlds. Stonehenge. There is power in forgiveness and silent intent. You will always receive joyfully what you truly respect. Oh, I love that. Okay, carry or wear natural Lemurian quartz 
for trust, healing and deep understanding. And, you know, this could be about you forgiving yourself as well, Taurus, you know. Um, sometimes that's a really important step of um, forgiveness. And it doesn't mean that it's okay, What was whatever was done. It doesn't mean that that was okay at all. Um, and it's not condoning any behaviours whatsoever. So be aware of that, okay? It's I think sometimes I feel like forgiveness is not always the right word to use. Sometimes it's about acceptance. Accepting that whatever happened, happened. And... Um, Now it's time for you to move forward. You know, things can't be changed, but what you are in control of here is your healing and your journey, okay? So, yeah. So anyway, Taurus, let's have a look, eh, at what comes up here for you. Okay, so. Taurus, are they going to jump out? They're really new cards, so they're not always jumping. Taking back your power. I love this. Taking back your power. Yeah, excellent. You know, and part of this, I, I'm, I'm going to call it acceptance because I feel like, you know, forgiveness, I don't know. It's just sometimes I actually feel like when I say this in this reading right now, like I actually it makes me feel quite nauseous because it's like, ugh. Forgiveness is the wrong word. It's acceptance, okay? Um, and accepting what has happened is about you taking your power back, okay? Um, yeah, and I, I, what I really love about this is it's like she's been beneath the water in the murky waters, right? In the murky waters, yeah. Um, she's been beneath there and now... You can only see her nose and her mouth are immersed. So it's as though the eyes are above looking um, above the surface of the water. So there's been this progress of rising up for you. Okay, out of the depths of despair, I feel. Yeah, this is really cool. And, and, and the waters are not murky and muddy. They're clear. And so this is um, this is exciting. This is really exciting. Okay, so let's have a look here. Tell me more about taking back your power. You know, the one thing I will say about um, forgiveness, even though we're not, you know, I don't want to focus on that word. But sometimes we can get wrapped up in um, really hating on somebody who has done something awful to us. Okay, and um, because it makes us feel better and it makes us feel like we have some sort of power over them. But what happens is over time, this eats away at us and we end up being um, affected by that and, um, and end up actually giving our power away by remaining in that energy. So it is important for you to take your power back. Okay, and... Um, I do feel like I just want to say again, this could be about you forgiving yourself that even if you have been doing that for quite a long time, forgive yourself for it. Understand, like be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself. Imagine if someone came to you and told you your story to you, how you would respond. You wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, like how would, you know, you wouldn't treat them like you treat yourself, right? So this is very important here, Taurus. Okay, so taking back your power. Yeah, we've got the Eight of Swords here. And this is you keeping yourself locked up in this um, self-imposed prison. Okay, in your mind, they're going over and over and over things. And it's time to unleash yourself, okay, so that you can stand in your power and really take that back, Taurus. Okay, so, and this is you on the bridge to doing that. And that is the most exciting thing. I love this for you. Okay, so one more card. Yep, Queen of Swords, bam, right there. Taurus, you sitting in your power. You know, this could be something that you've been working on and... um. 
and that you're coming through and you're embracing this Queen of Swords energy, you know, really knowing who you are, knowing what you're about, knowing your truth, knowing the truth. Because it's often the case that if someone has done something to you, that they won't um, tell the truth about it because they don't want to take responsibility, right? They don't want to look like the bad guy. And yeah, um, interesting here, actually. I'm just seeing this here, down here, locked in this little prison is this cup. So this could actually be you closing yourself off from love. Um, we've got the next card here, which is a rebirth. This is the healing that you've been through. This is the healing that you've been doing, piecing yourself back together. But look at what you've pieced yourself back together with here. Look at this. This is precious, man. You've pieced yourself together with gold. And so you're even more valuable than what you were before. You see yourself as broken, but you're not broken. You are valuable and precious and incredible. There's still a little bit to go. Yes, and that's okay. That's okay. You just do the journey. You know, you go, you, you're, you've come so far. Oh my gosh. Like you are amazing at what you've achieved so far, Taurus. Give yourself some credit. Goodness gracious. Give yourself some credit. It's been a hard journey. We've got the six of wands here. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, so stand in the spotlight and go, look at what I've done. Reward yourself. Reward yourself and say, wow, I am incredible. I am amazing. Right? Say that right now. I am incredible. I am amazing. Because you are. Yeah, you've come so far. Yes, there's still a bit to go, but wow. Wow. Amazing. And you deserve this recognition. You deserve to be cheered for. You deserve to be cheered on. You know, I am on the sideline here cheering you on, Taurus, because you are absolutely wow. Like, just wow, that's the only word I have for it. Because look what you've been through. Look at the pain. This is no small feat. This is absolute agony, heartache, despair. It's, yeah, this is... This is, you know, this is where this hole is still here, right? This is why you've still got this, this cup of love here caged away because, you know, you've still got this healing to do. Um, and you're stitching it up. You're stitching it up. Um, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry that that happened to you. And, you know, Taurus... I believe you. I believe you. Next card for Taurus, please. Because I can see it and I can feel it. How, how bad it was and how painful it was. And if anyone hasn't believed you, I want you to know without you even saying it, from what I see and what I feel, I believe you. Okay. Another card for Taurus, please. There we go. Cycles of life. Cycles of life. I'm feeling as though, Taurus, there's the cycle that you have been through. Um, because there's another cycle that you need to enter into 
um, and this healing and these experiences have been necessary for you to be able to enter this cycle. Okay, um, and I say that because I've been shown actually, you know, how, well, my own life and the cycle that I've been through, this is what I've been shown and this is why I'm coming to this, okay. Um, you know, I went through a big cycle of um, abuse in my life. Um, and it's led me now to a point where now I'm entering into a workplace to help people who have been through those cycles. So, you know, if I hadn't have been through all that, I wouldn't have the understanding and the knowledge that I have, having not been through that and done the healing that I've done. You know, and the healing is... It's a, a, a process that really doesn't end because there's so many layers to it, but it becomes more manageable and it becomes easier. And as you heal others, you heal yourself as well. Okay, so this is very important for you to understand, okay, um, because we've got the, the two of cups here. And I feel like this is, you know, the opportunity for you to come together with somebody else. Um, and, and this will help with the healing, okay? That's not to say that it's anyone else's responsibility to do the healing for you. That's still your responsibility. But it opens you up to a new cycle, a more positive cycle, you know, um, to begin to trust not just other people, but first and foremost yourself to make the decisions, um, you know, because it feels like there's, you know, when we're talking about forgiving yourself before, this is about you understanding that you can choose good for yourself, you know. So, yeah, and we have the Empress here as well, and she absolutely embraces that, right. She, she knows that she can birth whatever it is. She can birth the entire world if she so wishes. She understands that the universe is inside of her, right. Look at this. The whole world is inside of her. Yeah, because you, um, this is a pregnant woman here, pregnant with the entire earth, with the entire world, you know, and, and I feel like this is what is at your feet, the world is at your feet, ready for you to explore in whichever way you choose, okay, so yeah, this is exciting for you, I love this, okay, so let's have a look, give me another card for Taurus, please. See if one jumps out. Oh, yep. Sweet. Resistance. Ah, okay. So you're resisting this, yeah? You're resisting this. It's too scary for you because of what's happened in the past. Understandable. Because look at this path here is leading right to her heart. And she's blowing it away like, oh, no. That's not happening. Okay. And, um, yeah. This is out of fear, you know. Um, there's something about the DNA here. There is something that you're destined for, actually. And um, with the Two of Cups here, you know, the Two of Cups could also represent a group of people as well. So be aware of that. It's not always about love, okay. It's the coming together, the joining together of two energies, Okay, um, but yeah, I feel like this is this is part of your your path. You know, regardless of what may have happened in your life, whatever is coming together for you now was meant to be anyway. It would have happened anyway. So yeah, six of swords. Coming away from things that haven't worked out, going to new pastures, and um, I'm just hearing that song, the answer is blowing in the wind. So go and have a look at that song and just see if any of those lyrics resonate for you, okay? But only because she's blowing, she's blowing there. And, um, 
Yeah. This is really interesting, Taurus. Let's get another card for resistance. We've got the Six of Cups here. So this is something from your past. You're moving away from it. Um, and um, I just wonder if there's certain memories that are coming up for you when we've got the well of memories here that you are um, resisting, that you need to address in order for this healing to be done. And it's it could be really painful for you, you know. Um, yeah this this could be something from a past life as well i'm feeling with stonehenge and that being so you know such an ancient thing this could be past life related healing that is needed from a past life and I just wonder if this is what these cycles of life is about because I kind of had that pop into my head about past lives before but I got nothing else so um, yeah it does make me wonder if there's some sort of cycle that has been continued through your lives or through the generation generations could be something that you look back on within your family to see um, if there's a repeated pattern here. Okay, um, so that you can really begin to heal that as well. Okay, so give me another card for Taurus, please. Thanks. Trust. This feels really like nerve-wracking. Trust. So it's really difficult for you to do, right? Because, because it feels like every time you begin to trust, things don't end up the way they you thought they were. Things are different than what they looked like. And um, this is part of this actually trusting yourself, I feel. Forgiving yourself and trusting yourself. Forgiving yourself to trust yourself, you know? And... Um, Yeah, I feel as though, you know, this trust and, you know, with this healing that you need to do and that you need to finish off with, right, um, it, it's going to help you see things a lot clearer and it's going to help you um, be able to tap into your intuition to... Um, actually be able to um, avoid people particularly that aren't good okay um, I feel like that's a bit blurred right now um, because it seems like everyone appears to be good and everyone appears to be nice and then you really get to know them and it turns out they're not that nice okay and I feel as though yeah that this has really thwarted your um your view of all people okay and just seeing the strength card here of you know it's like people appear one way when they're really another you know, and this is what makes you just go, no, I'm, I'm you know, this is what this resisting is about, um, of, no, nah, I'm just not gonna, just not going to, and so, you know, this is you having the strength to, um, to really be able to tame the fear, okay, to allow the trust to grow, the trust within you okay to to make the call because there'll be times where you you know often when there's been a situation that has uh, required 
that has brought us to this level of pain and required a lot of healing, it's hard to trust anyone. But what happens is we do become more aware of the, the signs and the red flags and whatnot, um, and we become a lot more vigilant. So I feel like it's easier then to trust yourself to see um, what's what's real and what's not okay, to see through through the mask and um you know and, and exactly what people are hiding and we've got the hermit here and this will help you grow your intuition okay okay this this hermit energy is um you know leading the way along your path with your own light okay and um because this there's this path here and what's going to happen is as you actually practice that and become more familiar with your intuition and start with really small things you know um that knowing within you really start listening to that and you can play around with it a little bit um and so that you become clear on what's definite and what's like oh not too sure compared to yes I definitely know I definitely know there's no doubt about it okay and you've had those times in your life already okay so you'll actually then be able to travel that path um where you won't even need to follow the path Taurus you'll actually be able to just guide your own way floating along <laughs> you know because your intuition will be so strong and it, it already is but it, this is a matter of trusting it okay so yeah one more card for Taurus here please one more card. If it doesn't jump out, I'll flip the last card. Okay, here it is. Inner child. Perfect. Love it. Yes. Nurturing your inner child. Really, really paying attention to your inner child. Okay, um, because interesting thing here is this I see as the inner child and it's talking to the snake here. Okay, um, because the inner child has been... Um, you know, it, it still needs this nurturing um, so that it, it, it is aware of what is snake and what is not. You know, what is, um, it, it, there, there's just no doubt about it. it. It won't get fooled. You won't get fooled, okay, because you'll be so aware and so vigilant because you're not living from this place of the inner child anymore. You're stepping into this power as the adult. And you can say that to the inner child, it's okay, I've got this. Life is scary when we are living from the place of the inner child. Everything's scary, okay? And um, once we start to work with, have a look on YouTube for meditations or whatever of, you know, or how to work with your inner child so that you can start to nurture that. And you will begin, honestly, like it's incredible. You will begin to really be like, man, I feel so confident and I don't feel so afraid anymore because your inner child has been taken care of and it will take a while for your inner child to trust you because for so long it's been ignored and that doesn't mean to say that you're bad or terrible. It's just that, you know, you just didn't know what you didn't know. That's all, you know, so yeah. Okay, so two cards for inner child, please. Tell me more about this. And this is what the Six of Cups could be about here too, going back and um, and bringing this inner child into your existence and into your present moment to nurture and love him or her. Okay, so two cards about the inner child for Taurus, please. Two cards. Thank you. We've got the hanged man. Here, seeing things from another perspective. Oh, I love this light here. Um, yep, yeah, seeing things from another perspective. You know, this this again is about this intuition, you know, taking the time to really do that. Okay, um, so that you can approach things differently because everything else may not have worked the best. Um, so this is going to give you a chance to go, oh, okay. So I could do it this way, okay? Um, and maybe this is about this inner child work, yeah? Um, and we've got the Seven of Cups. So this is a lot of choices. This, I feel like, is where your trust is not coming in. You could, you could be faced with decisions that you just don't know what to do, 
okay and this may be even why you've come to this reading because you're like don't know what to do I need a reading to tell me what to do no one can ever do that and if you're watching readings that are telling you what to do then I'd be careful because it's up to you it's your life and readings are only meant to be a guide for you okay just a bit of advice so um but it's still up to you but you see here this and I love that this has come up with the inner child because this is also snakes and ladders here right so what is the ladder and what is the snake in here we can only see snakes we can't quite see the ladders yet so this inner child will become able to spot the ladders a lot clearer and the snakes okay as it begins to be healed so this is very important for you Taurus to be working on, well for everyone to be working on this inner child because it deserves to be loved and cared for. Okay, just like you. Then this is what self-love is about. This is a part of loving yourself. Okay Taurus, so please take care of your beautiful selves. Alright, see you. Bye-bye.